Well, Joyce and Patrick, yeah, it began here in January after an incident at Mitchell International Airport between Sheriff Clark, former Sheriff David Clark, and Dan Black, who was a passenger on that same flight. It then escalated into a full-blown lawsuit, which Clark's lawyers argue should be thrown out. Described as arguably America's most recognizable face in local law enforcement, Sheriff Clark has allegedly dealt with dozens of threats over the past year. In documents filed Monday, Clark's lawyers argue there have been at least 25 threats of violence or hatred between July 2016 and 2017. It has the attention of acting Sheriff Richard Schmidt. They've come in through the internet, uh, they've come in through letters, and we certainly take that very seriously. In August last year, someone allegedly offered $100 on Instagram to quote, the first person to peel the sheriff's cap back. Then days later on Facebook, someone posted quote, can someone please go take target practice on President Trump and Clark? Clark's lawyers argue threats like these are why he felt deputies should interview Black after what he called an unusual interaction on the plane. Black said he shook his head as he passed Clark on the way to his seat because Clark was wearing Dallas Cowboys gear. Clark yelled back, asking if Black had a problem. He then texted deputies to escort Black out of the airport, saying, quote, just a field interview, no arrest unless he becomes an expletive with your guys. Question for him is why he said anything to me. Why didn't he just keep his mouth shut, end quote. Court documents state Clark has dealt with several incidents at airports in the past. So Ben joins us once again live from the airport. Okay, Ben, those threats had prompted deputies to protect Sheriff Clark's house 24-7, according to the acting sheriff who we spoke with last week, even after Clark resigned. So do we know how much all the security detail cost? Well, we asked that question uh, to acting Sheriff Richard Schmidt here uh, last week. He said he would ask his people for a total number and get back to us. We've since asked multiple times for an update on that, including tonight. We have not gotten a total number just yet, but we will keep fighting for that answer, Joyce. All right.